we know that when we fish for brown trout or rainbow trout, we're looking for different water. But what if I told you that for me personally, I also, if I'm targeting one specifically, I implore different tactics for different types of flies and fly selection as well. So as we know, brown trout and rainbow trout typically have different characteristics on where you can find them certain times of the year, certain waters, and in addition to that, they typically eat different things throughout the different seasons. Part of that's due to the difference in when they spawn, but also part of that's due to the difference in their dietary habits, their genealogical and, and, and specific characteristics to the species itself. So as we're looking at, the, at choosing flies for different parts of the year, it's important to understand how these animals work, and part of that is typically when we look at brown trout, they are a little more piscivorous early in their, their lifespan and are very aggressive hunters. And so selecting flies is different than selecting rainbows who are a little more gluttonous in, in, a, in, a, in some respect and in the winter are chasing primarily different food sources such as eggs and easy um, midges and things in the column. So when I'm fishing for brown trout, um, I'm usually looking in slack water or easier water uh, than sometimes you'd find rainbow trout this time of year. And in doing so, I'm able to impart flies that utilize the water to create their own action a little bit better, such as things with marabou and, uh, and other really natural fibers. And so woolly buggers are really, really good this time of year, even though I might be nymphing them Sometimes you can throw them under an indicator, sure, but I find that I can find really good tr uh, brown trout, especially those nice kiped males and larger hens, uh, whenever I am nymphing a bugger or other dark streamer for brown trout in softer water, deeper and softer water. If I'm finding that my water doesn't have deeper troughs uh, where I can really jig my streamers through, uh, I will typically uh, wait for um, some extra water to come into the system and then I'll fish things like um, stoneflies and some midges but usually when I fish midges for brown trout specifically which is not all the time so normally for rainbow trout I'd fish a lot smaller like a uh, size 18 20 midges uh, as well as some other attractor patterns and, and eggs um, but when I fish for browns I'll up my my, my presentation a little bit, uh, at least in the beginning, and I'll try if I can, we don't always, all have time to do this, I'll wait for some sun to come out in that higher water, and I'll put some, I'll make sure it's something with flash on it or a brighter bead, and that usually gets the job done for browns a little bit better in my opinion than um, going with more subtle and moot patterns. Um, the muted colors don't really do a whole lot uh, in really clear gin water for browns around me. Now on the flip side of that when I'm fishing for bows um, I'm fishing some more natural patterns as well as some contrast. Typically for me fishing things with a, a deep to light contrast or color contrast whether that be an egg or a nymph or, or a streamer contrasting patterns help the fish identify and, and, and eat, um, but also depending on where you're fishing, reactionary, attack, uh, reactionary strikes are better on contrasting colors. That's, the, that's for sure the case in the Great Lakes where I'm fishing like a white chartreuse or a, a chartreuse black or a pink black, a bright pink or orange and purple. And, and that's really, really a good way to attack to find aggressive players when I'm fishing for rainbows or for Great Lakes steelhead. So that's kind of the difference for me is, is when I'm fishing for browns, I'm waiting for specific water, uh, finding slack water. And uh, when I'm looking for, you know, or deeper, deeper water and with, with uh, rainbows, uh, I'm addressing very typical trouty water with 
eggs and smaller presentations with contrast. And so for me, browns, knowing that they're more piscivorous, using more meaty presentations, and my rainbows, I'm looking at very buggy but small midge and small stonefly patterns, uh, in addition to like your typical egg patterns this time of year. But contrast is key. Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, check out the other videos in the playlist. Uh, please make sure you check out the links below for the merch line. Awesome new dro products dropping all the time, as well as new graphics all the time. I, des I design everything myself. I'd love for you to check them out. Uh, use the code CONSERVE for 10% off and 5% to conservation as well. Until next time, guys. Catch you guys on the flip side. Tight lines, and we're out.